crap back. This crap. ARP fastener assembly loop. ARP ultra torque. Anyway. Just gonna throw some. Just try to get it in the threads and along the washer portion. And uh suppose you can this stuff doesn't harm the engine either, supposedly. So you just put it I'll squeeze them out on the studs all the way down. And I'll take my finger and put it where I need to put it. When I built the, the 496, I had like 10 or 15 tubes of this stuff, which I think I'm probably going to have doing this too because. We got ARP head studs, ARP main studs, and uh, ARP uh, rod bolts. So I'm gonna just do a little bit more on this. So I'm just gonna swirl around in there. Put some on there. Some on the washer or the flat part I guess you can call it and uh, yeah. I see people using tons and tons of this stuff I don't think you need that much but different people tell you different things but I think that's why they say it won't hurt the engine at the same time, like Chad Myers, Moyers, Myers, says in his, one of his videos, you don't want it to hydro lock if you use too much liquid, you could potentially hydro lock it. You know, it's just putting unnecessary pressure um, up against a flat spot. Okay, well. I'll go ahead and torque all these down in equal increments, I guess. That's what it says. Alright, well I'm going to torque them down. I'm going to start from the middle. Do those two, do those two, do these two, do those two, those two, those two, those two. And I'm going to torque them down first with 45 foot-pounds. I don't know if you can see it. If not, oh well, trust me. So it's a 16 millimeter, 12 point. So. just want to go. You just want to go equal amounts. So, 45. Just snuggling them up so the dowel will sit. 45. 45. Just keep checking this. Making sure it's all good, no binding. Five, five, same thing. So they want you to go equal increments of whatever. So I'm probably going to go 45. 45 there. Don't mind that. On your socket. So, the 
I'm trying to say. I'll go 45. Well, I guess I didn't do these ones, huh? Well, skip the head. 45. I'll go 45, 90, and then I think it calls for a 125 or 150 for the final. I'll check them all. So they're all good. So, so main stud kit it says uh, manufacturer sequence. Tighten the nuts in three equal steps to specification listed below. Blah blah blah. Use a lubricant. So I got to go to 125. So 45. I'll go 75. And then I'll do 125. Anyway, pretty boring to say the least, which is why I don't do these little stupid videos. On 75. 75. 75. Go through them all again. Cause why not? Nothing but time on my hands. So again, just check it. Make sure it's free. Which it's really free. So now we'll go up to 125. Remember this is foot pounds. Seven. Creaking. Eight. Whew. Nine. Whew. Ah, ten. Whew. Do these ones. Man. 12. 
Ooh, I'm counting because there's 14. So this way I know. Exciting to watch, isn't it? Yay. Why don't do these videos? I know I keep saying that, but I mean it. Okay. And always reset your your torque wrench back to zero if you can or just get the tension off. These ones say stop. And just check it. As you can see, this one goes really nice. Do a backlash, which is what you want. No up and down. Anyway. Gonna be it for this video. This was a longer video, only because the thing weighs a ton. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. Camera's getting hot. It's probably about to shut down for thermal safety crap. So, alright, guys, make sure you guys uh, subscribe, subscribe up here, comment below, give me a like, thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. Check out, uh, subscribe up here. Check out my boy One Anglin over here. Whatever his name is. Watch my last video. Um, anyway, that's gonna be it. So, uh, my next video will be installing the girdle thing. This little slush pan. And, uh, yeah, and go from there. So, alright guys. Thanks for watching. Later.